Before there were airplanes, man was able to experience the wonder of floating high above the earth with a simpler invention. The hot air balloon. The device, invented by French brothers Joseph Michael Montgolfier and Jacques-Étienne Montgolfier. Their invention allowed humans for the first time to view the world from a bird's perspective and inspired in the developing field of aviation. They were children of Pierre Montgolfier, paper manufacturer in Annonay, France, and Anne Durit who had 16 children. Joseph was the 12th while Etienne was the 15th child. One day, Montgolfier brothers were standing nearby laundry drying over a fire and observed pockets of hot air raised laundry upwards. They started to think what caused laundry to rise upwards. They worked together and discovered in 1782 that heated air from a fire could make a paper or fabric bag rise. In 1782 they created a very thin wooden box and covered its sides and top with lightweight taffeta cloth. At its bottom, they lit a paper. The wooden box then lifted up to the ceiling. Amused by this experiment they made a larger balloon and they launched it on 14 December 1782, when they lost control of the machine which flew nearly 2 kilometers and was destroyed after landing. The Montgolfiers made the first public demonstration of this discovery on June 4, 1783, at the marketplace in Annonay. They filled their balloon with heated air by burning straw and wool under the opening at the bottom of the bag. The balloon rose into the air about 1 kilometer, remained there 10 minutes, and then settled to the ground more than a mile and a half from where it rose. The Montgolfiers traveled to Paris and then to Versailles, where they repeated the experiment with a larger balloon on September 19, 1783, sending a sheep, a rooster, and a duck aloft as passengers. The balloon floated for about 8 minutes and landed safely about 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers, from the launch site. The two brothers were honored by the French Academy des Sciences. They published books on aeronautics and continued their scientific careers. The Montgolfier company that manufactures paper still exists in Annonay. Etienne de Montgolfier's son-in-law, Barthélemy Beru de la Lombardière de Canson, succeeded him as the head of the company, and in time company's name became Canson.